sis is is she's a guzzler. What's up, boo? My name is Courtney, or you can call me B. If you are an oldie but a goodie, coming back for you another video this week. Hey, friend. Here on my channel, we specialize in all things beauty, lifestyle, fashion, and luxury, all while being on a budget. I personally do not believe you have to spend an arm, a leg, a toe, and a foot to look your best, feel luxe, and feel beautiful. And I try to do that in every single video. And this video, typically, I would say is no different, but. It's a little bit different. <laughs> you clicked on this video because you wanna see one or two things. What I'm getting rid of or what I'm gonna sell. The title is not clickbait, girl. Yes, you have not been deceived. I am about to purge and get rid of 90%, if not 95% of all of my luxury goods that I have in my closet. Um, all of my luxury, all of my designer goods in my closet. I feel like I'm just at this point in my life where I only want things in my life in my space this one to make me feel happy feel alive things in my closet that i put on and i feel alive in and i feel myself in or feel the most beautiful in i'm going to keep items that i have not worn in almost over six months maybe even a year they were just sitting on my shelf in most of my videos collecting dust as you guys saw they're not bringing me joy i don't care what name they are what brand they are how long I've had them, what they can go with, what they could possibly go along with. Girl, they gotta go. If I have not made time or made a way for me to wear them before now, they're not staying. So, we're about to go through my stuff, see what's gonna stay, see what's leaving. Honestly, <laughs> let me get to the chase. I know what's going, okay? I have a whole box of stuff that has to get out of here. So, I'm really just showing you guys what I'm getting rid of, why, and also, along with me showing you guys what I'm getting rid of, these items that I'm gonna show you guys today are going to be on my site. So I'll leave the link to that down below. So we'll be taking pictures and uploading them to the site in the midst of this video as well. So I need these things out of my closet as soon as possible. All right, so to get started, our first line of duty is to check out the closet. I'm almost scared to show y'all this closet. Speaking of my closet, girl, I can't quit looking at it. I can't quit looking at this shirt. This top is so cute, despite my little ashy tummy. This is a top that was sent to me by Los Angeles Apparel, formerly known as American Apparel. Girl, American Apparel back in the day was my jam when I was real skinny. Girls that have on the um pointe, point, pointe, whatever it's called, little um little midi bodycon dress. I had sus in a black in a red and a white. And baby! I don't have on a bra, but I do have on nipple covers. And sus is just making the girl sit up. They did send me over other pieces besides just this top. Los Angeles Apparel did send your girl a knitted brown dress, some shorts, a crew neck, and a crop top to match. Um, I love this eucalyptus sage color. This is my favorite. It goes with my skin tone so well. Girl, straight out of the packaging, you can feel that everything is of such quality. Everything is thick, everything is heavy. And I could not help but pick up a pair or a pack of socks. They're cozy, they're aesthetic, and we all know the girls love a good aesthetic. So a big thank you goes to Los Angeles Superior for sending me these goodies because they had the girls sitting up nice with no bra, okay? And that's the vibe for all summer 2022. No bras, tight fits, and uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, as of right now, this is how the closet is looking. I did merge um, me and Bae's clothes together. Before this was just like my filming area where I had my stool, my little setup, and all of my clothes and my shoes and my bags in here. But this year, I really want to be more intentional and use every single space logically in our apartment. So we decided to finally just merge our stuff together so we can have the most use out of this room, this little space that we do have. We have all of our shoes in here, um, all of our perfumes, his colognes, our jewelry and everything's together, which is why we need this space. Um, on the floor, you guys, are actually some items that I have for vacation. But right now, the matter at hand is this box right here. This big Beulah right here, this, minus the stuff on top, this stuff I've already worn, this has to come off. This whole box, along with some other stuff over here on this shelf, 
is full of my designer and luxury goods that have to go. I'm gonna go ahead and pull sis out of here so we can see what's going on and then we'll go from there. Ooh, girl, hold on, how we gonna do this? This guy's gonna move, I feel like I'm gonna knock something down. Hold it. Ooh, don't fall out, sis, please don't fall out, sis. Oh, not the road! That's what we're working with, minus those clothes. Me looking at this box really starting to break my heart, which I know is just a trick of the enemy because he knows I'm trying to like get myself together. And I don't care how I feel, this box gotta go. I have things in here that I've just bought like in the past two months. Some things I just got in the past week. There's no easy way to start, but to just start. So to make this go smoother, as far as me taking pictures goes, I think I'm going to um, pull out the items by category. Let's do hats and scarves. Oh, the first thing to go are gonna be my Ruslan Baginski hats. I was so hype about these hats, but girl, they gotta go. Every last one of them have to go. My tealish green one has to go. My brown one has to go. And especially this black one has to go. Now, I'm not getting rid of these because of any particular reason as far as like um, quality issues. I just came to grips and I realized now that I'm just not a hat girl. I posted a picture in my black Ruslan Baginski hat on my Instagram page. I love how that picture came out, but the more I look at it, I realize that my head and my face, per se, is not really meant for hats. <laughs> or I just have not found the right hat that fits my face and fits my aesthetic. So these are the first set of hats that I'm gonna be getting rid of. The next hat's gonna be this Gucci Scully. I have not worn this ever. This is brand spanking new. Still has the tag and everything on it, girl. She's still in great condition. She's really stretchy. She has not been on my head at all. Like I said, still got the tag on her and everything, child. The reason I'm getting rid of her is because, like I said, I'm just not a hat type of girl. I definitely can pull off a scully more than I can pull off like a brimmed hat. Even if it does get colder in Florida, like towards the winter months, it's still not gonna make sense for me because it doesn't get that cold here for this. I'll just be keeping it for a look. I don't know, this goes in the I don't know pile because maybe my man could wear this. This Wang Scully, black knit Scully with the rhinestones and the lettering has to go as well. It's hot here, I'm not really a hat girl. She's pretty stretchy, just fit the head nice. Next is this Gucci scarf that I've never worn and I will never wear only because I don't really see how I can wear it because it is sort of like an infinity scarf. Is it meant to be worn like this or? I have no idea. Then I have this Armani Exchange scarf. Now I would keep her, but I just don't think I'm a scarf girl either. Scarves were really in during the winter and the fall time. The girls were slaying them. I specifically remember seeing a picture of Kyra with the scarf on. It got your girls riled up, it got me riled up, and I was ready. And girl, I never wore her. I thought she was so cute. Since those are all the hats, now let's jump into some shoes. The first pair of shoes I know for a fact have to go are going to be my Chanel sneakers. These are going on the site, but I definitely want to clean these up a little bit before I do sell these. They are still in great condition. Only thing is I have worn them. They are worn. Try to get them as clean as possible, but no matter what, I am gonna sell them as is. Now, as far as these shoes, just as everything else I've shown so far, I'm not selling them because of any defects, any um, quality issues. Only problem I'm having with these shoes is either my foot has grown or the shoes just have always been too small. I wanna say ever since I first purchased these shoes, they were a tad bit too small. But knowing me, I forced my feet into these and now at this point it's like super duper painful. I can't fake the funk no more so they have to go. Oh, these next ones I'm gonna cry, dog. Okay, okay, okay. Be a big girl. Be a big girl. <sighs> I'm finna cry, bro, because I was so hot about these shoes for so long. I mentioned these in a wish list video. I did an unboxing for these. The truth of the matter is, I'm just not gonna wear them. <laughs> oh, if I 
the hill. My Alexander Wang Selena heels have to go. These have been worn before, once. Now let me explain myself. Once again, there's no quality issues, no problem. The, the quality is tip top tier. Details, everything is, is top tier. They wrap around the ankle really nice. These shoes are specifically 3A quality. If you guys know what 3A quality is, then you know if you're not in that realm of the way I luxury shop. 3A quality. Anything actually above 3A quality is the best quality you can get when it comes to your luxury goods. I did not do my research on this style of shoe because this style of shoe comes in different heel lengths. I did want a longer heel in this shoe, but since I was not familiar with the sizing metrics that they had, I ended up picking the smaller heel shoe rather than the longer heel shoe. It's cute, it's classy, but it's just way too short. I never thought the day would come where I'll be getting rid of my bombiest slides. These shoes have to go. As of now, I'm breaking up with LV. Listen, listen, I know, I know, it's been a long time coming. We've had a couple of years of running together. The brand just has not came out with anything that has caught my eye. Whatever they do come out with has not caught my eye. And I'm just sick of brown. Browns just make me look muddy, makes me look dirty to me, and I'm just not with the browns, so. These are going. They're also in very good condition. There are a few little scratches here and there, of course, from me wearing them throughout the years um, in the insides of the shoe. A little bit of scratching on some of the hardware, but you guys will see more of that in detail in the pictures on the site. Now that we are done with our shoes, let's jump into the big kahunda, these bags. I think I have to get myself mentally prepared for the bags because these are the items that I've had the longest. The first bag is gonna be my Palm Springs Mini. This has gotten me through so much. She's very easy, she's on the go, she can hold a lot more than you think. Going grocery shopping, running errands, girl, I threw everything in this bag, but she has to go. Um, like I said, she's brown. My Louis Vuitton phase is pretty much dead. You know, she must die along with it. This is being sold as is. I'm saying as is because there isn't any um, backpack. I did use a removable Louis Vuitton strap that I used as a crossbody with this bag. She's been good to me, you guys. I have nothing bad to say about her. I love her. Oh, girl. Oh, you've been so good to me. All right. Next is my little Gucci bag. I don't know the name of it. If you guys remember, I did do an unboxing for this bag, so this bag has not been a part of the Beehive long, but she has to go. I'm just not with the brown. I'm slowly but surely working my way into some color and more things that I can utilize almost every day or every other day, and she's just not one of them. There aren't any feet on this bag, all right? So you cannot stand her up straight without her falling over. So if you take her out or have her on display, she has to be leaned back on something. It opens like this. Everything is still clean inside, girl. I have not worn her probably, but maybe two, three times in the whole span I've had her. And with that bag, I do have the box for that. I also have the crossbody straps to go along with it, your cards, and a dust bag. The next item is going to be this pouch bag right here. This is of course Bottega inspired, but this is in fact from Shein. I bought her to wear with another outfit that I had in mind for Valentine's Day. Wore neither one of them. The next bag is my Bottega Jody inspired bag from Shein as well. Now this one I'm kind of torn between because I really could use her, but I have not picked her up in some months. I don't have a need for her anymore. Um, I don't really think I need her. The other white one I have kind of out trumps Little Miss right here. Here, so I don't want to keep boring you guys with the Bottega inspired bag so I have one Bottega inspired bag by Teddy Blake and also a black Bottega inspired pouch bag from Shein this maybe has been worn one or two times this has been worn never um, so has the tag. I unboxed her a little while ago with you guys. Beautiful bag, beautiful color. I don't see a need. I don't see a, a deficit or anything anywhere in my closet. So I'll probably never wear her. I've not worn her thus far. So they gotta go. Next is going to be this Louis Vuitton accordion bag situation. I don't know what it's called y'all, but she gotta go. This was just a trendy bag for me, for me. I wanna say I saw somebody wear it somewhere and thought it was adorable, which it still is, it's still cute. I just don't like how gaudy this is. The monogram is everywhere. The chain has the monogram on it as well. Even though it does not have feet, this part right here lets the back stand up. I do not pick this up ever. The Almighty Alma BB. This bag has been so good to me. Just like my Chanel double flap, she gets me through everything, baby. Grocery store runs, girl, she does the darn thing. 
she still has her strap. Um, I do have her straps inside the bag. She's still in pristine condition. This is um, another bag also that is 3A quality. She has a few scuffs on her. Me and my best friend's daughter were playing in makeup and nail polish. So she does have a little bit of a blue streak right here. I'll try my best to get that stain out before selling, but if not, baby girl's being sold as is. The Chanel has to go boom boom. This bag close to been sold, baby, because when I say I never wear her, there's no quality issue with this bag, but there is a problem that I have with Chanel and this style of bag, period. This bag is not structured enough. Beautiful bag, just not structured. You put anything heavy in this bag, it's gonna sag, okay? Um, I'm sure they have bag skeletons or bag, um, what is it called, inserts to make this bag a little bit more structured and stand up a little bit straighter, but that's doing too much for me. I don't really wear her enough as is anyways to even invest in a type of piece to put in here to wear the bag. If the bag was structured, I still probably wouldn't wear it. Only because of how big it is and because of um, the color. However, she does have a few little scuffs on the back. Yeah, right there. I must have missed these two bags. These are more um, Bottega pouch inspired bags that I got from Shein. They have to go. Girl, I missed a bunch of shoes at the bottom. Okay, we'll circle back around for those last two, three pairs of shoes. Three, four. The next bag is gonna be my pouch zebra bag. I've never worn her. Matter of fact, take that bag. I wore her once and it was cute, it was a nice little vibe, but I just don't see myself picking her up often. My handbags resort Chelsea bag, the Mamba bag. She's not something I reach for all the time. And I wanna fill my closet with a lot of things that I'm excited to wear, that I can't wait to wear, that I don't mind picking first. And she's probably the last one I would pick for, you know, my kickball team. Ooh, girl, how did I forget y'all? I don't even know how I forgot y'all, girl. My Louis Vuitton house shoes. I probably wore these shoes twice my whole life. These have gotten nowhere. Mm. Judging by the bottom, they may have gotten a little bit of wear. But these shoes are in great condition. They're still super duper furry. They're just not practical for me. This just shows me that who I was three years ago, I'm nowhere near that girl today. That's a good thing, okay? We should all aim for that. Of course, not negative change, but always positive change. I changed a lot as far as my fashion sense from three years ago. I don't know how I forgot these shoes. Girl, my Louis Vuitton ankle, calf booties never wore these shoes i want to say i i wore these have the plastic on the bottom yeah they're plastic on the bottom i wore these boots one time and that was only to show you guys i think on camera in a try on these shoes are maybe whoo, they're maybe two years old i bought these in the fall season i love this shoe and honestly i would wear them now the only thing is it's this brown this brown is, it's cute, it's classy, but it's restricting. Um, there's not a lot of things that I can wear in my closet with this. These are gonna make somebody so happy, especially when fall time comes around. Here you go, Chai. These sandals gotta go to, once again, their LV. Not really much I can do with these. My LV train is over, and they are a little bit scuffed up because they have been worn a little bit. Well, actually worn a lot, but they're still in great condition. They're still very structured. The last pair of shoes that I forgot are gonna be my DKNY fluffy loafers. I was in love with these. These gave me so much joy to wear, um, but they're just not practical for me because of where I live. I live in Florida. It's hot and I love my toes too much to keep them enclosed. So I've worn these shoes twice my whole life. They are super cute. I love them. Love only stretches so far. Oh, this bag is beautiful. Oh, I was dying over this bag. Now this bag is actually extremely new in the past two and a half weeks or maybe even a week and a half. She's so new, you guys. She still has her plastic on some of her hardware. There's still plastic on her. This is another piece that is um, 3A quality, so I did pay a pretty penny for this one. Like I mentioned, anything from 3A quality on up is top tier, chef's kiss, so this is definitely an amazing quality bag. I don't mind paying that price, but she's just a little bit too big. On the picture, she was a lot smaller, but once I received her, baby girl was a whopper stopper and she's just not going to fit in with the rest of the girls in my closet. With this bag, this does come with another strap. I knew for a fact I was not gonna use this crossbody strap because since she is so big, me having this big old pack on the side of my hip would not be the move. It has reminded me and gave me the vibes of um, 
middle school little the little crossbody man bags we used to wear in middle school that carried our books and stuff and our binders hearing all that clunk ka clunk ka clunk on my hip no baby silk is brand new as well i did pick up another double flap and this is in the silver hardware with 3a quality still has the tag and everything attached my teddy blake she's got me through a lot too she she's been very very good to me there's no really rhyme or reason for me selling this bag besides just that i'm tired of it she's just too big she's way too big if she was a smaller bag that i could just have in my hand very cutely just being very casual then yes but she's giving me work tees work bag office babe and that's not what she is that's not what i'm giving the inside is still that bright red i have some quarters in here so i can show you guys that <laughs> this chanel bag i know y'all gonna say sell it because y'all want it but this, this is me for a second i go on vacation in a little under a little less than a month and like Three and a half weeks I go on vacation. And it's somewhere tropical. Now I've been seeing on Pinterest, a lot of the girls been wearing their little tan Chanel bags like this. But mine that I've had for like a year and a half is black. Now this will force me to wear black on vacation. I don't want to wear black on vacation. That's my only reasoning for getting rid of this bag. She holds a lot. When I say sis holds a lot, sis is, is she's a guzzler. So for somebody for vacation, this would be perfect for y'all. But um, far as me, she can't go. You can't get a pair of me, so you gotta stay. Now that we've ran through and showed you guys all of my goodies I'm gonna be getting rid of, let me get everything together, get this phone, take these pictures, get some aesthetics, get some vibes. You know, young rich niggas. You know, so we ain't really never had no old money. We got a whole lot of new money though. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Hey! Raindrop, drip. Drop top, drop top, smoking no cook in the hot box. Cooking, fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Cooking up dope in the crock pot, pot. We came from nothing to something, nigga. Hey. I don't try nobody, grit the trick, nobody. Call up the gang and they come and get janked. Cry me a river, give you a tissue. Hey. Bad and bullshit, bad. Cooking up dope with a oozy. My niggas are savage, ruthless. We got thudders and hundred rounds too. Blah. My bitch, bad and bullshit, bad. Cooking up dope with a oozy. My niggas are savage, ruthless. I be posted somewhere secluded. They still be playing with pots and pans. Call me Quavo Ratatouille. Run with that set, call me Boobie. When I'm on stage, show me Boobies. Ice on my neck on the coolest. How about the suicide with the ooze? I pull up, I pull up, I pull up, I hop out with all of the drugs and I chill up. I'm cooking, I'm cooking, I'm whipping, I'm whipping into a rock up, let it lock up. I gave her 10 racks, I told her go shopping and spend it all at the pop up. These bitches, they fucking suck, thinking they busting for Instagram. Get your cloud up. Oh, yeah, that way. Yeah. Float on the track. I'm still in the process of taking these pictures. I have so much more to do, especially with these shoes. And besides what I showed you guys in today's video, I do have a box full of other things that are going to be on the site as well. These just weren't really featured in today's video because they aren't really um designer or luxury. But they are going to be uploaded on the site too, so you guys can shop them. So you guys, that is the end of today's video. I'm going to go ahead and finish taking the rest of these pictures pictures off of camera if you guys enjoyed today's video please do not forget to give your girl a big thumbs up and of course subscribe down below join the beehive family the beehive gang because we are never ever oh, bougie over here do you understand me make sure y'all are following your girl on instagram i will leave my name somewhere here on the screen and yeah as always i love every single one of you but until next time my lovelies your crown me too but you never let it fall stay gilded Cooking up dope with a oozy. My niggas are savage, ruthless. We got thudders and hundred rounds too. Yeah, 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 yeah. She back to the ball. Ay, wait. These niggas watching. I swear to God, they be my clothes. Yeah. Huh? Switching my hoes like my flows. Switching my.